What's going on everybody? Almost Counts Collectibles here and in this video we're going to be going through a haul of items that we recently picked up at a, a very large indoor um, garage sale basically, more like a flea market if you will. Um, it was a few hours away but uh, we were able to stop by while we were there and actually picked up some pretty cool items. So we're going to go through this stuff and kind of share with you everything we got. So let's go ahead and move closer and check it out. All right, before I get too close to the box, I actually want to showcase um, this item. Now, this is actually one of the old McDonald's displays of the Mystic Knights of Tiernanog toys. Um, in this display, uh, it needs uh, put back together a little bit, but for the most part, this thing is in really good shape. Now, I've actually had a couple of McDonald's displays before, and this was one of them. Um, but the one I had was, it was pretty destroyed. And I ended up not trying to save it um, just because of how damaged it was. So I actually found this one and it even came with all of the figures that uh, display on it, even though I already have those anyway as part of my Mystic Knights collection. But I thought this was really cool. Um, and I was able to pick this up uh, for 20 bucks, which um, to me I thought was a pretty good price considering the good can you know the condition that it is in is pretty good so you don't find these because they car they're kind of big and they're uh, kind of fragile they get dinged up easily so it's kind of hard to come by these in like really good shape because they've been tossed around and smashed and stuff for so long so uh yeah it was pretty cool to actually pick this up um and i'll show you the little the little baggie of people that go on it um are inside here and it actually shows like there's the name of like where each character is supposed to go. So like all the good guys, the Mystic Knights go up top and all the bad guys go at the bottom. But uh, each of the villains, I believe it was, came with a, uh, a piece of the dragon um, that's actually included. So you can build the dragon. I think the dragon displays back in here, if I'm not mistaken, because uh, I see where most of the bad guys go. But we'll look at this at a different in a different video. I'll get it all together and nice and talk about it and stuff like that maybe eventually. But I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. But I thought that was really cool to actually pick up this Mystic Knights of Tiernanog original McDonald's display. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside and move in just a little closer on the box. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into the box. So right here on the top um, is actually all of the Mystic Knights figures that go to that display um, to include the dragon. So here's the, uh, the dragon that comes in four different pieces and you build them and he sits in the back back there. At the end, when I do the display thing, I'll try to put these guys where they go, um, but no promises. I don't know if they're gonna stay until I fix them, but all of the figures are in here. So that was a pretty cool pickup for uh, 20 bucks. Um, I'm looking forward to getting that set up neat and hopefully displayed somewhere in the room, but let's go ahead and move on to the next stuff. All right, now I picked up one of these. I actually uh, already have one of these, but this is the light up um, Green Ranger display. Now they made one of these for all six original Rangers. I'm not sure if they made one for the white ranger or not i don't think they did but they all come with this little switch there's a light that goes inside right here in the back you can see um, two lights actually and it lights up and it had hangers up here to hang on the wall uh, this one unfortunately is damaged it's cracked down here but i thought it was in good enough shape um, to actually do something with and I was I picked this up for five bucks. Um, originally, they were asking like fifty for it, but since it did get broken, unfortunately, uh, they more or less uh, <laughs> gave it to me. So I gave them five bucks for it because I think there's something I can do with it. So I picked that up. So that was pretty neat. And then I picked this up from the same people. Now. Uh, this is one of the old spin fighters. Uh, so this is like the arena. Now this one is obviously pretty banged up. It looks like it was smashed down flat at one point. Um, every corner is pretty much broken, a lot of stress marks, and it was pretty much just kind of crushed. I don't know. Uh, it might still even be usable like this, but the 
like the bowl on the inside is a little distorted, a little warped. So I don't know how well the spin fighters would do in there. Uh, but since the arena was destroyed, I got a really good deal on this. I got this for $5 as well. And it also came with a bag full of the little spin fighter tops and two launchers. Now I already have quite a few of these, but I've never actually gone through them. So here's one of the launchers and here's one of the other launchers. I've probably got about four of these already. So now I probably have about six. Oh, and somebody wrote their name on the back of it. But if you don't know what these are, and I'll try to get close enough here so you can kind of see it. Um, but all these featured like a, a villain or a ranger or some sort of character. And they're just like these little spin tops. So you put them in the launcher, uh, wind it up. The launcher spins it, drops it, and it spins. And they're just little spin fighters. And they fight in the arena and the last one standing wins. But I did get a very um, large bag of these. But I've never, like I said, actually gone through and looked at the entire list of all the ones that were released. We'll look at a couple here uh, to see if I have them all, if there's actually some of these that I'm still missing. So here's one of the Zords. Um, this is the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and that's actually a picture of the toy. But it's got the Zords, the Rangers, the villains, uh, and it was a pretty big bag of these. Here's Red Ranger. And I see these sell for 30, 40 bucks for a decent lot of these every now and then. So I figured why not for $5. Here's the uh, Mega Dragon Zord. Once again, another picture of the toy. So these are pretty cool. I got a whole bag of them. I'll have to go through and see which ones are in there. All right. Um, I picked this up. Now... And I know I say this a lot because I do have a lot of items. Um, I already have one of these uh, sealed in the box. It's over there on the shelf. I also have the Green Ranger and Red Ranger. These were the 25th anniversary, if I'm not, yeah, 25th, obviously right here in front of my face. Uh, 25th anniversary of these, but um, they were asking such a good price for it, I couldn't pass it up. And the box is in really good shape. It hasn't been opened. Uh, I picked this up for $20. And these sell for a lot more than that. So I picked it up just to have an extra one of it. Um, I pick up a lot of stuff. I don't really, I never really intend on reselling anything. It's been years since I've sold anything. Uh, I get a lot of duplicates of things or pick things up that I already have that I know are a good deal. Because maybe potentially in the future, <laughs> if I'm ever able to convince myself to actually part with a lot of my items, um, might be able to sell some stuff and make a profit to uh, go on and buy other things that I actually need. But it's just kind of hard to pass up a really good deal. I mean, when you see something that people uh, regularly ask 50, 60, 70 dollars for for 20 bucks, it's kind of hard to pass that up if you've got the cash. So I went ahead and picked that up. Thought it was a really good deal. Couldn't let it sit there. Um, all right, here's some other things. So I actually picked up some video games. Uh, I'm not a huge collector of like vintage games or anything like that. I do collect them, uh, just not as much as I collect other things, but uh, they were selling, let's see, I'm pretty sure for the, the uh, PlayStation games, there was a couple they were asking more for, um, but all the other ones in a pile, uh, they were asking $2 a piece for these PlayStation games. So I got uh, Evil Dead, Hail to the King, just because I like Ash. Um, I like the old Evil Dead movies and stuff like that. Not that this game was incredibly uh, fun or an outstanding game, just for collector purposes. So I grabbed that because I saw it sitting there. Um, I got a Beast Wars. Now this is actually a computer game. So I picked up the old Beast Wars game. I actually have this. I have it for uh, PlayStation. I have it for computer, uh, but it was in good shape. And it was, uh, you know, for one or two bucks a piece, you can't pass that up. Um, and they had this. This is the Beast Wars Transmetal game for PlayStation. 
Now, I'm not entirely sure if the Nintendo 64 version is worth more. Um, I know it does frequently sell for quite a bit of money, $100 or more. I've seen it sell for, I have it. Um, but if I'm not mistaken, the PlayStation one's pretty valuable as well, but they had this old Beast Wars game sitting there. And once again, I already have one of these, but I just couldn't pass it up for a couple bucks. Uh, I don't, they, you know, I don't know if it works. Uh, the discs are in here. They looked like they were in pretty good shape. Um, I mean, for all I know, they don't actually work. You know, pretty good, pretty good condition. And then we've got uh, Twisted Metal 2. I picked that up, very popular uh, old game. And if I ever want to go back and play it on the old um, PlayStation 1 console and mine ever breaks that I have a copy of, I got a backup for a couple bucks. But they were in really good condition, so couldn't pass those up. <clears throat> and then I got this. Um, I got a copy of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Uh, I also already have this, uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. I picked it up the day that it came out, uh, played it, beat it, absolutely loved it. Um, I remember a lot of people were upset because they wanted a more super in-depth, detailed, realistic version of Zelda, especially after Ocarina of Time and uh, Majora's Mask. Um, a lot of people, when GameCube came out, they're like, all right, we'll get an even more detailed, realistic uh, Zelda game. And when this one was very, like, kind of cell-shaded cartoony, uh, a lot of people were upset with that. But uh, this is actually what the original creator of Zelda, I guess, was going for and imagined in a Zelda game. This is what they wanted. And it was actually a very fun game. I thoroughly enjoyed this game. It was a great game. Uh, and I got this for $5. So I couldn't pass that up. Once again, great condition. The books and everything are in there. Uh, just another awesome, awesome pickup. Couldn't let that sit there for $5. So picked up Zelda the Wind Waker for GameCube. All right, Pokemon. So uh, my middle child was with me and he is currently a Pokemon fanatic and I still love Pokemon to this day. I thoroughly enjoyed it as a kid and uh, I haven't kept up with it we pretty much just kind of enjoy the first uh, three generations, three to four generations of Pokemon. There have been several generations since, and to be honest with you, I probably couldn't even tell you the names uh, of a lot of the uh, Pokemon from the generations after that I kind of quit watching it, but uh, he had to get this super extra deluxe essential handbook, which these are pretty cool. It tells you the in-depth information of pretty much every type of Pokemon that was out to that point of this book. And this one's from 2021, so three to four years ago. Um, up until that point, it's got pretty much every Pokemon in it. Thought that was really cool. Picked that up for $5. He had to have that, so I thought that was a pretty cool little book. I like those. Um, and then another Pokemon item, so I thought this was cool. Like I said, I love the original generations, specifically generation one, but I really liked generation two. Uh, and then generation three is kind of when I was phasing out of it, but I was fairly familiar with it. But anything that features the original starter Pokemon, I really like. And somebody had this really nice little card binder. It's got the paws of the three original starters on it. Um, Pikachu, Bulbasaur, uh, Charmander, and Squirtle. And I just thought that was really neat. It was in really good shape. Got this for like, I think got this for like $2. Um, a lot of their stuff was pretty cheap. So yeah, grab that. There's no cards or anything in it, but I just thought it was a really cool little binder. And um, naturally when he saw it, he had to have it. So I went ahead and picked it up and he's probably gonna snatch that from me very soon. But let's go ahead and look at some more stuff. Uh, actually, this is pretty neat. Um, so for those of you that might remember, uh, I think it was the 25th anniversary. It's on the bag here. So yeah, 25. A lot of 25th anniversary stuff for things. Um, but Burger King, at least I'm 99% sure it was Burger King, um, had these like, they're almost kind of like Funkos, but they had these Power Ranger figures of uh, all five Rangers. 
At least I think they just did the five. I'm not sure if they did a white or a green. I don't think so. Um, but they had all five of the Burger King Rangers still in their bags. And I thought that was pretty neat. So I picked this up. Uh, I think they were asking eight bucks for it. So I got all those for $8. thought that was pretty neat. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. Oh, this is really cool. So somebody, and I'm assuming this is from like an original like quarter machine, put the quarter in, turn the dial, and a little uh, little uh, clear container egg pops out. But what was really neat about this was somebody has what looks like the original displays that go up in the window to show you like uh, what you're going to get. And I'm going to, here, I'm going to pull these out of here. But they had these two little display things which are the same and like i said i'm assuming these like went in the little windows for the advertisements to show you what you could get uh, and these are in different places so the white rangers here on this one and up here it's right there but i'm pretty sure those are the exact same figures so they had these two displays there was this display collect them all mighty morphin power rangers I'm pretty sure this is probably not an official licensed product <laughs> uh, of Power Rangers. I could be wrong, but I wouldn't bet on it. Here is a blue one, very similar to that, with all the little Ranger figures. And then here's the last one. It's got a yellow background. So I thought that was really cool. And then there is just a bunch of the little eggs with the rangers in it. I mean, there's probably 10 of each one down in here. It's a pretty deep bag, but it's got all the little ranger figures in there and their little eggs. There's green. Green, yellow, blue, black, red. Oh, here's a white. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, I got that whole bag of those. Once again, five bucks. I got a lot of items for five bucks, but this whole bag of those and all the little display things. So I couldn't pass that up. I love those little odds and ends. All right, right here. Um, so in this box, we actually have the uh, 2010 version uh, pretty sure it was 2010, of the Dino Megazord. Um, pretty much the exact same one the Legacy one was modeled after. They just added metal parts and all that stuff to it. But this is the full plastic version. But they had the uh, the entire Megazord to include sword, Macedon head, uh, cannons. Um, and I got that for 40 bucks. And it's in pretty good shape. I didn't really see anything wrong with it. Nothing major, not even any significant scratches or anything like that. Uh, so for 40 bucks, thought that was a decent price because this sells for more than that. Your saber tooth tiger. And then triceratops. So I got the 2010 version of the Megazord. Pretty good deal, pretty good deal. And then also saw this. Now, I almost passed this up because I have like probably five um, complete rescue Megazords. I've got one on the shelf. I've gotten several in like collections and lots that I've purchased. Um, I've even got a handful of like damaged ones and complete ones, but I probably have a total of at least five complete rescue Megazords. So I looked at this and then immediately kind of went on to other things that they had, but something kept catching my eye with this. It just, it looked different. It didn't, it, something didn't look right about it. And then I noticed that someone had taken, I'm assuming maybe like a, um, could be a paint pen, maybe a super fine point uh, Sharpie marker. But basically what they've done is they've pinstriped 
all of the little uh, detailed grooves on these actually black when normally they're not. And it just really made it pop. It really made it stand out. Um, especially on here, they even painted the little fins back there silver that are normally all blue. So somebody went back and just added extra detail to all of these Zords. And I mean, they look great. And when I saw that, especially on this one, I mean, they've put all the little black lines. It just really makes it look better. And it even came with the the uh, blasters and they did it to the blasters as well added the little pinstriping details to it um and i just thought that was really cool and i'll grab uh for instance the one i have on my shelf over here doesn't even have the stickers on it i bought um the bd15 decals to decal it uh, but i'll show you the difference in the regular zords and then what they look like with the pinstriping and everything and uh, show you the difference but I thought that was really cool and they ended up letting me uh, get this for 60 bucks now 60 bucks for a good condition complete rescue megazord is a pretty decent deal any day but the fact that someone added a little more detail and it looks good and everything I couldn't pass it up so now I have about 185 rescue megazords but uh, what are you going to do I've got a problem <laughs> All right, this right here. So this is really cool. Uh, most of you will know this as the uh, Shogun Megazord sword from uh, the Alien Rangers and season three of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was never American release of this. This is the Japanese uh, release of this from, and I'm probably saying this wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's from uh, Kaku Ranger, if that's how you say it. Uh, I butcher the names of the Super Sentai uh, seasons of Power Rangers all the time, unless I hear it a few times said correctly. <laughs> I, I never say it right. So uh, pardon me for my ignorance if I completely butchered that name, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's from. And uh, this is not in perfect shape. I mean, it's obviously like been bent at one point. It's missing the battery cover. But for the most part, it looks pretty cool. And I don't have one of these... Uh, so I, I couldn't pass this up. It came with some other weapons and stuff at the bottom of the box here. A lot of this other stuff is from different vendors that I just packed into the box. Um, but I got the box with all the guns and everything that were in here and a few other items I got from them. They just let me have the box instead of using up some of their bags. But uh, we'll go through that here in a minute. But this did come with that. But I just thought that was really cool. I don't have one of those. Had to pick it up. So the Shogun... Megazord sword. Really neat, really neat. All right, we got some more weapons here. Uh, and I don't know, I don't know what these are from. I'm pretty sure they're Power Rangers. Uh, most of the stuff in the box was Power Ranger items and it says Bandai 2005. Um, I don't see what season of Power Rangers this is from. And after Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, I mean, I know what SPD is. And I'm pretty sure there's an SPD item in here. But uh, after that, I mean, I really don't know much about the other seasons of Power Rangers other than what some of the suits look like. But you guys, my, my diehard Power Ranger fans that love all the seasons are going to have to tell me what these are. Um, I'll look it up and throw up the season on the screen. But uh, as of this moment, I don't know what these are from. These look similar. I don't even know if these things go together or how they work. This looks like it's electronic. But yeah, a couple more Power Ranger weapons. Oh, those both extend. Uh, just not sure what season it's from, but got those in there. Uh, this right here, pretty sure this is um, oh, not SPD, Lightspeed Rescue. Um, uh, Lightspeed Rescue. I think I said SPD a second ago. Uh, but I'm pretty sure this is a light speed rescue morpher. Maybe I, I think so. Uh, once again, you guys will have to tell me that know a lot more about it, but got one of these in there. I have so many other season power ranger stuff that I don't know what it is just sitting in bins downstairs, but pretty sure because of what that looks like, I'm pretty sure that's light speed rescue, but anyways, moving on. I know what this is. This is one half of the Zeo Morpher. That was in there. I've got quite a few of these things now too. 
this was made out of metal. Always thought that was really cool how well some of these older role play toys actually looked and functioned and stuff. But one half of the Zeomorpher. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab this. So they had, um, I'm trying to remember which uh, table had this. I don't think it was the same people I got the weapons off of, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, had some old Transformers uh, setting on the table. Now, I have the original um, Devastator, the Constructicons, over there on my uh, G1 Transformer shelf. But they had uh, quite a few of the Constructicons, and I ended up getting all of these for uh, $10.00. But uh, for instance, uh, and they told me that it was like this, but one of them in here is broken. It's got some pieces in there and it's not complete by any means. I'm pretty sure there's no weapons, but one, two, three, four. So five of the six Constructicons are in here. And these old Transformers, uh, I really like them. I wasn't even um, old enough or actively collecting when these were uh, big and popular, but just going back and watching Transformers and collecting some of the older Generation 1 Transformers. I just really like them for some reason. I don't know. Uh, but I picked these up, and then I got these down here as well. But like I said, uh, $10, I think, for all of it. Um, once again, I just couldn't let it sit there on the table. So I grabbed that bag of Constructicons, and then I've got some more here. And I don't even know if all of these, there's been so many releases of Devastator over the years. I'm sure there's probably a mix match here of like generations or which ones they are. Because there's a couple dump trucks, but they do have differences. I'll show you here in a second. Um, but anyway, I got two cement trucks. I'm pretty sure they're different releases. My hardcore Transformer fans out there will have to school me on that. But I uh, got the front loader here. And right here's some writing. Um, it says 1984 on it. I mean, these could be even be knockoffs. I don't know. Knockoffs are pretty good. But there's that. Uh, got a crane. Got the backhoe. Another backhoe. But this is the one I noticed it most on. So I've got two of the uh, dump trucks here. And I don't remember his name exactly. It's slipping my mind. But one of them's got a sticker on it. That looks like uh, a newer sticker. The other one has a rub sign on it. So one could just simply be a pre-rub and then one's a rub or they could be completely different releases, later releases. But let's look under the bottom here. So on this one, I'm going to hold it so I can see it. Uh, Takara, so 1980-1984 Japan is what this one says. If you guys can even see that. And then over here on this one, it doesn't say anything in that exact same spot. So obviously two different releases. This one also has chrome, whereas this one is all plastic. Um, and yeah, just minor little differences here or there. So yeah, I don't know what releases or what, but got a large little lot of Constructicons uh, that all appear to be authentic older ones um, for 10 bucks, so. Grabbed all those. Let me set them all to the side here instead of throwing them back down inside. Uh, also got this guy. So here we have Ratchet. Uh, I don't know exactly which movie release um, he's from. I don't know if he's from when the first movie came out, that toy line, or one of the later ones. But this is from the more recent uh, movies, uh, Ratchet, which thought was pretty cool. Uh, they ended up letting me, I got it from the same people that had the Constructicons and they threw this in for a dollar. It was just in a little, I don't think they were like transformer dealers. They didn't have a lot of transformer stuff, just had a few things set in there. And when I bought those, I was kind of looking at this as well. And they're like, oh, we'll throw that in too. I was like, all right. Uh, we've got a... Power Ranger Zeo item, one of the transforming Zord to Ranger toys. I've got uh, all of these, but um, I don't think I have any of them. 
that are in the package. I think these are the ones I'm pretty sure I don't have a single one of them, but I got that. Uh, this, there was a few things that were inside of this box. So this guy, this Ninja Turtle, And I don't know if this goes to the turtle, but I'm pretty sure these also said Playmates on it, and that's who makes the turtles, so... From 2012. But this Ninja Turtle was in the box with these weapons. Uh, what is this? Alright, so this goes to these. So I actually picked up... I got, if you guys can see them here, these are the eight inch um, in space rangers. And they came with like battleized uh, astro space armor. And they had the blue and red ranger up on the table. And uh, they came with all of their weapons and their arm and leg armor. And they also, uh, right here is the chest armor pieces. They're wrapped up inside of these. Oh, here's the other one. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure both of them had it. Um, and this was from the same person that had the weapons. So I grabbed these because I need a red ranger for my eight inch rangers. Um, and the blue one that I have is a little scraped up. This one was in excellent condition, but I don't really have the armor and the weapons for any of my eight inch space rangers. They've all just been from collections and lots that I've bought. So I couldn't pass these up. Um, I actually paid, what was it? Pretty sure it was 10 or $15 a piece for these. So I think it was more like $30 for both of these because they were complete with weapons and everything like that. And even that was a good deal. But I picked those up. Uh, there was some more random stuff. I'm not sure what this is even from. I think it's like a Disney movie, if I'm not mistaken, but some kind of little figure in the box. And another little figure of some kind in the box. Not really sure what that is or what it's from. All right, let's get to some of the cooler stuff. This right here, once again, I believe this is from the um, equivalent to our season three, you know, the Ninja uh, and Alien Ranger, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This is like a scroll from, I believe, uh, Kaku Ranger, if I'm, once again, if I'm saying that correctly. But I thought this was really neat. Um, it's literally like a scroll that pulls down and I'm trying to be careful with it here, but that is pretty cool. Once again, not sure what season exactly it's from. I don't even remember how to work this thing, to be honest. I really don't want to break it, but I don't remember how I did that. They pulled it open to show me what it looks like, but I didn't actually pull it open. <laughs> and now I can't get it to like, all right, I'm going to set that aside and I will figure out how to make that go back inside of there. I figured it was just like a little, oh yeah, retraction thing. It's just a little old, I guess. There we go. All right, fixed it. But one of the scrolls, I don't know how this was exactly used because I haven't got around to watching the um, Super Sentai version of that season, but I just thought that was a really cool item. Had a Dragon Dagger in there. Uh, missing the battery cover, like a lot of these are. Um, didn't test it. They said they were pretty sure it worked, but it looks uh, pretty good. It's in good shape. So, got that with the lot. Here's some more weapons. Actually just got these weapons uh, in that Super Sentai lot um, that we did a video on, but here are some extra ones. These are a little cruddy, obviously well loved and used, but this has got the uh, piece that goes on the hand. It's got the claw that goes on it, the bow. And I think that was it from those play weapons. This was in there. Uh, at first I thought it could have been some kind of Power Ranger weapon, um, but I remembered the writing on it and I, uh, I don't remember if it was in the vehicle or as we were leaving, but I, I Googled it just to see what it was. And uh, it's actually not a Power Ranger item at all. Um, 
it's an old, like, uh, it's called a Skyrider. And if I remember correctly, um, I think you like type in the message and you wave it around and with the lights up here at the top, it like spells out the letters and the, I, I, I don't know. Um, but it's got a stamp on here. I'm pretty sure this is from like the eighties. Yeah. At the bottom. So it says like patent pending and let me see if I can get this to focus for you guys here. Uh, but it says 1981. So this is like really early eighties stuff going on here. So I thought that was really neat. Um, I don't know if it works. I'll have to get some batteries in it and try it, but we've got a 1981 Skywriter. So that was pretty cool. Right here, uh, we've got another Japanese item. Now this is, uh, I know this as many of, as most of you probably do as the cannon from Power Ranger Zeo. Um, it, it's got little lights in it. It's got a button. It's missing the battery cover and I'm assuming maybe a little rod or something that goes right here. Um, but I don't know. I thought that was pretty neat. It was in the box with the other big weapon. So I took all of it, but it's a, a Japanese version of the Zeo cannon. Have to see if that thing works. And we've got one of the Rangers blasters. Um, this is the Zeo version or Zeo as we know it of the blaster. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And once again, I'm probably going to butcher this, but uh, Aura Ranger, if that's how you say that, or O Ranger maybe. We've got the red Zeo Ranger on there. Pretty cool little weapon. Don't have one of those. And then whatever this is, uh, not sure exactly what this is from, what season. I don't even really recognize this as a Power Ranger item. Uh, it takes two C batteries, maybe D batteries, but um, definitely a Japanese released item. Got some switches on it. It's got the trigger. But yeah, pretty neat. Uh, let's see, 1994 made in Japan. So this is from the 90s in Japan. So I'll have to look that up and figure out exactly what this is from, if it is Power Rangers, what season, or if it's from something else. But I thought that was pretty neat. They really didn't know too much about these items. They said that they hadn't even had them very long at all. But I thought that was really cool. All right, well, that is all of the stuff. Let me move this box and I'll try to put the stuff back here and we'll take one last look at it. All right, real quick, before we get to everything back here in the background, um, I just wanted to show you that quick comparison. Now to the left, we have my Rescue Megazord that I was getting ready to relabel. Um, it's pretty much fresh out of the box. It's in great shape. And in all fairness, I guess it's not a, um, completely fair comparison because this is missing some of the decals but this is just a quick look at the um, the detail of the one here to my right that I just got uh, just coloring in all those extra lines and some of the additional things just how much better it looks so this right here is the detailed rescue megazord and I'm gonna have to do out uh, I'll do a separate video. Um, so when I do the um, relabeling of this other one, I'll also show this one again for comparison. But compared to this one right here, I mean, it just looks so much better with just something as little as coloring in all of those little lines. And let me... Uh, Turn them here real quick. We'll get a side view of what they look like. But yeah, really happy with it. Glad I picked that up. I mean, for 60 bucks, I just couldn't say no. And that one is going directly on the shelf. So, all right. Well, there was that Rescue Megazord. 
All right, we are back. I've got everything here um, that we just got out of that uh, box of goodies that we picked up while we were out. And there was actually one more item um, in the bottom of that box that I didn't see all the way to the right. We got another uh, Silver Ranger Morpher. So another awesome addition to um, that collection. We got the Rescue Megazord over here with the additional details. We got all of the little quarter machine, the uh, bag of goodies. Back there, we got the Mystic Knights of Tiernanog McDonald's display with figures. Um, I went ahead and assembled them, but we've got the 2010 Megazord. Um, and then we had the Space Rangers with their armor and weapons. Uh, back there, we had the Spin Fighter Arena, all the Constructicons, um, some couple of Pokemon items back there, the Burger King Power Rangers, the uh, Green Ranger Light, a lot of role play weapons. We got a 1980s Skyrider. Uh, some cool uh, Japanese weapons there that we didn't have. We got the nice sealed um, White Ranger for the 25th anniversary. Uh, just a lot of really cool stuff. Even the, uh, the video games. Um, I mean, we didn't get a lot of them, but uh, we got some pretty cool video games for a, a really, really good price. And I would have to go back and add it up. Um, like I said, we stopped at a few different places where we got all this stuff from. It wasn't all from one transaction. But I'm pretty sure, uh, let's see, 60 and 40. Uh, so we had $100 just in the two Megazords. Um, and then everything else, um, I, don't, I don't know. I'm going to say probably around the $60 range maybe. It was 20 for the White Ranger. But under $200 um, for all of these items. So not terrible, not terrible. I couldn't pass some of it up. Uh, but I just wanted to go ahead and share that with you uh, and let you guys partake in the opening of that stuff before we start putting it where it's going to go. And until next time, everybody. Um, oh, and by the way, I uh, didn't keep my promise. I wasn't able to get all the figures back on the Mystic Nice display. My apologies. They just weren't going to stay there unless I actually affixed them um, on there. But we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed the video and going through those things. And let me know what you all think of the uh, stuff that we got and what we paid for it. Uh, until next time, everybody, I will see you next video.